The late President Mwai Kibaki was mourned as a peace-loving leader who held the country together at a time the nation was on the brink of a breakdown. Former Prime Minister Raila Odinga said President Kibaki took charge of his team during the peace talks at the height of post-election violence and stabilized the country. Well, leaders who worked with the late president credited him for transforming the country's economy, with Deputy President William Ruto stating that describing him as the best president the country has ever had. Samogina has more. They worked closely as president and prime minister in the Grand Coalition government, the product of a 2008 peace accord after a hotly contested election that saw the country descend into unimaginable levels of violence. Odinga was aggrieved with the poll outcome at the time before a truce was called. At the former president's state funeral, Odinga described Kibaki as a statesman who transcended grandstanding by the team's picked to negotiate a political truce and place the country first. At the time when we were negotiating post-election violence, the stocks had collapsed at Serena. Kofi Annan invited me and Kibaki for a meeting. We sat in the office of the president. We talked and talked. In the end, I said, I'm ready to come down to this point. This is the this minimum. And Kibaki then agreed. So when we agreed, we shook hands. After shaking hands, the other people now wanted to come in, into the room to try to persuade him not to agree. He told them to memorize Akila Kitu. Odinga said President Kibaki bypassed his lieutenants who were keen to frustrate the talks. And with that, Kenya outlived the violence. And as president and prime minister, it was time to rebuild the nation and put it back into a growth trajectory. We came out and shook hands with Mwai Kibaki and he kept that those words. There were differences sometimes in the course of running the government, but all of them were able to resolve them. Amicably. The country's third president was described as the most outstanding head of state the country has ever had, with his stance against corruption winning praise. When the history of Kenya is written, Mwai Kibaki will not fit into paragraphs. I don't think he can fit into chapters. We might need a separate book for Mwai Kibaki. The biggest enemy of corruption, Mwai Kibaki. And nobody is indispensable when it came to issues of corruption. He was equally praised for his contribution in the education and infrastructure sectors. He laid a firm foundation both in education, in infrastructure development, and he was the architect of our economy. The church threw a challenge to the political class ahead of the August general election to emulate Kibaki's persona of unifying rather than dividing the country. He was indeed a father, an elder, and a true hero of the nation. He leaves us true us as a true legacy of statesmanship that was above ethnicity and favoritism and always portrayed decency and respect for others in his political style. With the country at the brink of precipice, President Moai Kibaki was remembered as the leader who took charge and steadied the ship when the country was sliding into anarchy. Samogina Citizen TV at the Nyayo National Stadium, Nairobi.